you know, we were all looking forward to getting in here with these straight cut headers. You know, it, it was just, it looked like a dream. This is our third snowstorm, so it's not really a dream anymore, it's kind of a nightmare. Being a farmer, you always have your neck crooked up to the sky and it's like, stop, <laughs> weather's the killer. When you have put so much heart and soul into this and capital, you know, yeah, you want nothing but the best. I, I am, I want, I want nothing but the best. But these are the cards that were dealt. We have a great team. I have a great wife behind me all the way. My folks behind me. We're all here, we're gonna get it done. We don't know when, but we're gonna get it done. Right now we're trying to uh, take off some standing wheat. My moisture is not changing. So, pretty fantastic. I'm definitely going to grab a sample here and run home and just do a double check on my own moisture meter in my shop and get everybody lined up ready to roll. So we're at 15.3%. It's tough for wheat, but uh, the terminal is in dire straits for some wheat right now and they'll take it up to 18% and dry it down. So we're good to go. I'm gonna actually phone the manager right now and tell him that uh, we'll get rolling. So it's been challenging weather-wise. The machines have been a godsend only because of the technology John Deere now has with them. It's taken such a stress level off of me and my operators. Every day amazes me how the technology continues to change out here. You've got to get the yields up. The acres have got to produce more, and this technology has given us that advantage. When you start using that technology and realizing that the combine actually makes setting changes based on a picture on the monitor, and it repeatedly just reviews that picture to maintain that sample that you've asked it for, it, you actually have to look in the grain tank to make sure this is happening. The headers have absolutely amazed me. You know, this down crop, when they kick them into, into Hydroflex, they're shaving the ground. We were introduced to these headers last year, and um, given the crop conditions we've had this year, uh, the pea crops we grew, between the rain and the snow, they were pasted right to the ground. And you looked at it and you're thinking, how can I combine carpet? And um, these headers were a saving grace. You know, the barley and the wheat that we have that is flat as well, they're getting 99% of it. You know, that, that's big savings. I mean, that's money in the bank, right? All of it saves you money in the long run if you have technology that's uh, gonna read the land a little bit better. Yeah, I got a split load. I got uh, wheat in the front for Williams Farms and uh, canola in the back. We're uh, still maximizing what we can out of this equipment. And when it goes to the terminal, our samples are consistent. They're happy with what they're seeing. We're averaging over 100 on our barley so far and good bushel weights. Wheat has been incredible. Right now it's an acre game. We're half done harvest. If we can get some good weather, we probably only have a couple weeks left. Hopefully we're going to get a break in November for two weeks coming up and let us get it done. When you look at the forecast, it looks like the next two weeks is flurries every once in a while. Speaking with Larry and Roy, they've never had a year where they never got it off, so I hope this is another one of those years. There's some days where you do feel defeated, and how, and how do you not? But, you know, you kind of got to rise above it. I'm optimistic I'm going to get it.